Yeah. Need help with a team being six and one that you don't have to rush back. Oh, you see my team? <laughs> my team is pretty good, right? Uh, <laughs> but uh, man, it's been it's been fun watching those guys, man. Those guys. I mean, it's not a surprise. Uh, you know, Coach McDermott and Brandon Bean, those guys do a great job of getting guys in that's buying into our scheme and buying into the way that we do things. And it just makes, you know, when, when one guy goes down, the next guy up, you know, knows what to do with no drop off. Where's your confidence level in the leg right now? You're out there doing the work, making all the cuts. Do you have confidence that you can do everything you need to do? Uh, I'm just taking it a day at a time. I think that with that approach, I think that uh, it's, it's when I get back out there, it's going to be the right time. And it's, and my leg's gonna be right once I get back out there, so I have confidence. You talk about taking it a day at a time. Just what's it been like being back out there? Oh, it's been fun. You know, anytime uh, I can get out there with my teammates and do something that I haven't done for a long time, um, it's, it's fun. But I know that, you know, it's it's a process. It's a day by day process that I'm going through, and uh, I know that it's it's gonna be it's still a process to go. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it a day at a time and continue to take this rehab. You know, like I've been doing. It obviously, obviously tests your different. patience, Trey. It obviously tests your patience, but does it help knowing that there are potentially some big things to be healthy for later uh, on? I year? mean, yeah, you know, you know, you gotta you gotta think about that too. But you know, like like you guys said, we got a great team, and those guys have been doing a great job um, of you know limiting big plays and taking the ball away. So, uh, I mean, you you guys haven't noticed I haven't been out there, so <laughs> that's a good thing. What have you done to to help Kair and Christian? while you hurt, weren't playing, especially in the off season when you knew you weren't going to be ready? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of, uh, I met Kyrie during the pre-draft process when he came in, so uh, I kind of, uh, we exchanged numbers then, and I kept kind of kept kept in contact with him. Um, and uh, my old DB coach from college, you know, is at Florida now, and uh, so he was trying to get me to try to get Kyrie to stay. But once I uh, looked at a couple games, <laughs> called my coach back, and I said, Coach, I don't know what I can tell you. <laughs> so, uh, and, and Christian, he's a guy, you know, very quiet. Um, do all the things the right way, man. Those guys are great. They're ahead of the learning curve of where I was when I was a rookie. Those guys know the playbook, excellent, excellent, a lot of good questions, very complex guys. So I think that, you know, those guys have a great future. How <laughs> emotional was it when you went down and you knew it was going to be over? Uh, I mean, you know, it's very emotional. Like I said, I mean, it's my first time ever going through anything like that uh, since I was probably like six or seven years old. It's, it's been football, basketball, track, football, basketball, track, football, basketball, track for the, for the last, what, 20, 20 years. So this is my first time I had to sit down. But uh, it just gave me a different perspective, man. Uh, In what way? I just noticed, like, I got more to give people than knocking a pass down and intercepting the ball. So it just it was the first time in my life I sat down and was like, Tredavious White, <laughs> what else can I offer to people? I know I'm bigger than just, you know, a football game or just knocking a pass down. So it just... You know, I started reading, started getting into a different space, you know what I mean? Just learning about myself, learning about, you know, where I'm, where, what's my purpose here on, on earth other than playing a, playing a football game. So, I mean, it just put me in a different space. Yeah, right. 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 With, the, with an ACL, like a, you know, straight on running isn't necessarily an issue. It's the lateral stuff side to side, which is so difficult for a, a, a cornerback. Um, how, where are you in that process? How does it feel when you're having to make those types of cuts and moves? Um, I mean, it's feel, it's feel, it's feel natural. It's feel natural. Uh, like I said, I've been taking it a day at a time, so it's been a process of getting to where I'm at now. Uh, I got a ways to go, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's such a process. What, what do you think has been more challenging? Has it been the physical or the mental? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. More, definitely more the physical, because you just got to get back out there. You got to get to moving. You got to work it out. You got to basically had to uh, build my body back up from the ground up. So it's been, it's been a challenge, and it's something that uh, you know, as a football player and as a guy that's been, you know, where I've been in my football careers, it was a different challenge and it's something that uh, I woke up every day ready, ready to kick his ass. Do you think, <laughs> to a lot of us, you looked bigger at camp when we saw you. Like, mm -hmm. do you think that you even got stronger in your upper body because you were, you know, rehabbing and spending time in the weight room doing that? Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I saw. Um, I, I got a lot of, a lot of people saying, you know, that I was, I, I looked, looked a little bigger, but, uh, I mean, it was all part of the process, all part of, you know, my rehab process of just Re redoing my body, just re redoing it from the ground up, like I said, and uh, I'm still going. And, uh, it's, it's been a process, like I said, it's been fun. Uh, every day, it's been, a, it's been it's been tough times too. You know, I have my days where it's just, you know, it's kicking my ass, but uh, I have more days where I'm kicking kicking its ass. So, you know, <laughs> that's where it's at. Uh, it's just been a it's just been a process. You know, some days you wake up and it's it's better than others, and. Uh, you know, I've been very cautious with it, very, just taking my time, just making sure it's right. So I, 
so I won't have any setbacks. So that's been most of the thing. How, how much? Go. How much do? How much do? How confident are you that you can return to the elite level <laughs> player that you've been? Uh, I think you know. I mean, I. I I bust my ass during this process, so once I come back and, and perform well, it's not going to be a surprise to me. Um, uh, my teammates that have been around during the summer and, you know, during the offseason, they know. So, you know, the people that, you know I mean, that I care about and, you know, that care about me and just know the, the amount of work and effort and, and blood and literally blood, sweat and tears that I put into this rehab, they know. So um, coming back and performing well won't be a surprise. Is that what motivated I mean, is, is your – competitive to begin with is that what fueled you to just to show people that this isn't going to hold you back um i really was you know just you know my my i'm my own worst, cr worst critic so uh, you know it just it was just a testament of me just getting out of the slump because you know the first first few months it was just it was very hard uh very depressing time I mean, locked up in my basement they had to come drag, you know, guys from the facility had to come drag me out of that mud so um the first few weeks, like I said, it was, it was, it was, it was tough. Um, I didn't, a lot of uncertainty about it. Um, just doing the research of you know, where I want to do everything, where I want to, you know, where I want to go with this process. But uh, I mean, these, the, the, the staff here and the people around here have been great. So uh, the process is, you know, uh, I had to, I, I didn't have to go through it alone. They when did you come they back? They had to drag you out, or you didn't, because you didn't want to. Uh, it was one of those things. Like I said, it's my first. This is unfamiliar right. territory for me, so. Um, it was it was it was it was challenging, like I said. But uh, I'm making it through it, and uh, I'm taking a day at a time. I'm still getting through it now. You know, I still have days, but you know, what I mean, good better days than none. You know, it's good to have guys like Michael back that I can see him, and he gives me ultra 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 confidence and ultra just he just bring my spirits up. And then you know, just to see Dean Marlo back here today too, that's another guy that you know, what I mean, just bring my spirits up too. So uh, it's it's been a testament of you know myself working hard, but great teammates and great support around here. When you do play, Trey, whenever that is, whether it's this week or down the line, do you prefer it to be on kind of a limited basis at first, based on the way you feel now, and then kind of work your way back in, or just wait until you're able to go full? Uh, I'm just going to listen to my coaches and, and listen to the training staff. Uh, those guys, you know, they've been doing a great job. They know what's best, and they know, you know, if if, if, if I'm ready to go out full go, they know when, when that is. So I'm um, just, like I said, going out and practice and giving all I got on each and every rep and just trying to get my body back into you know, football shape and getting back into, you know, the football mind, you know, going going into the meetings, hearing the terminology again, being on, uh, being on a uh, practice field. First couple of days, I forgot the, the damn stretches, but, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, it's been fun, man. It's just getting back out there. It was just, it was just a blessing to, the first couple of days to get back out there and to stretch with my teammates, to hear the music with my teammates, to joke with them. So it's been fun, uh, but I know, you know, I got a long ways to go, but, you know, I got a lot of people in my corner. What corner were the conversations statement? like with Odell about the injuries? Obviously, he's your friend. You both, you know, you went through this. Mm -hmm. And also, have you spoken to him about maybe joining the Buffalo Bills? Oh, for sure. <laughs> if you go through my text thread, I think I sent him probably 2,700 Buffalo Bills emojis. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Odell, he's a good friend of mine. You know, I've, I've been knowing him since 2013. Played with him uh, at LSU my freshman year. Uh, he was the reason why I moved from uh, receiver to defensive back him and Jarvis because I wasn't going to get on the field my freshman year. So uh, they kind of just like, <laughs> you got to have to go over here. But uh, those, Odell, he's been, a, he's been a great resource for me, a great guy, man, a great guy that's got a lot of knowledge. Uh, they've been doing it at a high level for a long time, so it's definitely a guy that's big enough. Definitely, you know, uh, value his input. How important was your family during all this, especially oh, when you were man. down? Oh, yeah. It was, that was the main thing. I mean, it gave me time to sit down. I was able to take my son to school. Do things that I wasn't able to do, you know, if I, I was playing football or doing it in, in, on a normal sense. So, uh, I mean, able to spend time with my little mans, <laughs> two little boys. Those guys, uh, are, man, they, they keep me on my toes. Uh, their personality is showing the starting the show. They're five and three years old, so they pretty much telling me what they want to do and not what I need them to do at this point. But uh, uh, during the injury time, uh, you know, I got a couple of funny stories. So. During the, during the time where I was on the crutches and stuff, so my, my oldest son, he was, uh, once I took the crutches off, you know, he was like, Dad, like, you don't have crutches anymore? Your leg better? I was like, yeah, I'm getting there, man. So, you know, <laughs> once I started walking normal, he was like, hmm, Dad, you want to play hide and seek? <laughs> so, so now it's been a thing that, that, you know, when I was down, it was, they're running from me. Now it's like, get up and run with us. 
So it's, it's been fun. Uh, those guys, my, 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 my kids, man, the number one thing to me. And, uh, it, was, it was hard for them to see me down. Uh, so, uh, but, I mean, they got me through it uh, each and every day seeing them. And, you know, good day or bad day, could walk them through that door. I'm still going to be dad, and they still going to love on me. So that's, that's the most important. What do you think has been the biggest thing you've learned through this experience? Uh, I, like I said before, honestly, uh, it, it, it set me down for the first time in my life, and uh, I was able to, to sit down and just know that I, it's, I'm bigger, bigger than a guy that puts a helmet on and go make tackles and, and knock passes down. Um, so, like I said, just I'm bigger than, and than a football game. I got more to offer to people than football or sports in general. So, I mean, that's pretty much, you know, the, the space I've been in, you know, reading the tons of books. Um, I got a good friend uh, from uh, Sunday Night Football, Michelle Tafoya, uh, during, during, my, during this time, you know, she sent me a book called The Obstacle is the Way. Uh, great read. I would, I would recommend a lot of guys, a lot of people to read it uh, about mental toughness and just getting through adversity. It's just, uh, I was in a different space, and, and a book like that is definitely, you know, me, gave me a lot of insight on, you know, what to look forward to and how to handle certain situations. So, what, Where does this rank in the challenges you've faced in your life? Oh, well, it's kind of tough because, you know, just coming from where I come from is, you know, I mean, that's, that's tough in itself. So I think that uh, they would rank up there, but just me making, making it to where I'm at today, I, that was probably the hardest thing that I've gone through in my life. Great, what can you say about the training staff here? Oh, those guys, I mean, man, I, I've had great work. These guys have been doing a great job. I mean, They've been with me since I was down in my lowest. So the guys in there, I mean, they've been doing a great job. Uh, Joe, Joe, Joe Collins, uh, Joe Mika, Marissa Figueroa, those are my main three people that have been taking care of me the whole time. Uh, Marissa, she's the athletic trainer. She's, she, was, she scrubbed in through, through my surgery. She was there in my surgery. She saw when they cut me open. So um, the whole, my whole rehab, she's been there with me every step of the way, each and every day. Um, whenever I took a break during the summer, if I took a vacation, she pretty much tailored her time around mine, which a lot of people don't do. Um, it's, it, I, I owe a lot to her and, 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 and Joe, and, and both of Joe, those guys. They've been hands-on with me from day one, and it's been, it's been short, short of, it's nothing short of amazing. Those guys have been great, uh, giving me confidence every day, uh, just pouring into me all positivity every day. Uh, so, you know, to them, I, I, owe, I, owe, I owe a lot to them. Yeah. When we talked about the off-season, that off-season practice, kind of like a good thing. What's it like for you to now have to, you know, take these big moments and give advice to your teammates? Yeah, I mean, Mike is a guy that I look at, like, as two for advice, you know, just not on the football field, but just in life in general. Uh, one, of the, one of the good guys, and it's a guy that you just root for and that everybody roots for. Um, he's, been a, he's been a great steward for me, a great resource for me. Just like I said, not only on, off the, on the field, but off the field, that guy's one of the best. He's the best teammate, probably one of the best teammates. I had, he, he and Jordan Poirier. I put Levi Wallace up there too, uh, Dane Jackson and, and Terry. Those guys, have, they've been there with me from day since, since this thing happened. Also, even Levi, when him leaving, you know what I mean, doing free agency, that guy has just been reaching out to me every step of the way, checking on me. You know what I mean? So I, I've done a lot, got great, good deal of work, but had a lot, a lot, a lot of support along the way that helped me and gave me an extra bump along the way. So it'd be very selfish of me to just take all the credit for it. But uh, like I said, I'm still going. I'm still, still the process. So um, I'm gonna keep going and uh, taking it a day at a time process. And I'm gonna just, you know, believe in, believe in my preparation. And uh, the day gonna come when, you know, I arrive. In. What will that, what will that day be like when you, when you first step on back on a field on a Sunday or a Thursday or whatever day of the week? Um, it's, it's going to be great. Uh, I'm pretty sure my teammates probably be more ecstatic than I would be, but uh, it's going to be fun. Like, like I said, I haven't played a game since November 20, uh, 26th or 24th, <coughs> so it's, it's been a while. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, but that's what I'm working each and every day for, so once I get back out there, I can put my best my best stuff out there. So uh, it's going to be fun, and, but I just know that once I get back out there, I'm not going to be out there alone. I have a great team great group of guys that support me. So uh, I'm looking forward to it and I know it's going to be great.